Hey Capricorns, welcome to your August 2022 flash read, bonus read. It's going to be a quick reading. Just to check in to see what's going on between you and the person that you're connecting to at the moment. It's going to be three cards, the issue, action, and outcome, okay? To those who've already subscribed, welcome back. For those who are new to my channel, if this reading resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe as this helps my new channel grow. I'm new to the YouTube tower community, but I'm not new to tower reading. I have over a decade of one to one tower reading experience. Don't force to read, really take a resonates and leave the rest. So let's get into it, Capricorns. Spirits, please show me the cards for Capricorn for August 2022, the issue, the action, and the outcome. Please show me the issue, the action, and the outcome in regards to the person that Capricorn is connected to. Show me the current issue, the action, and outcome. Current. Issue, action, outcome. Okay. After we pull these cards, we're also going to pull some oracle messages. So please um, stay for those messages as well. Okay, to the end of the read. The issue, so what is this connection? Is having some financial issues. Okay. Um, someone in this connection may even be having investment issues. Um, being impatient about the process because there's delays so they're not finishing what they're started it's like a procrastination just a lack of effort so there's no growth okay um, I get that this is probably your person this is their issue they're just financially set back and um, they're trying to they're trying to work on financial stability but what they're making the wrong kind of investments they're trying to make something happen quick that rely that that requires a lot of work, okay. Um, but they're not putting in the work, and they're not understanding that you know they have to keep working towards whatever this goal is, okay. So that's the issue. It, it, the issue is is nothing that has to do with you. I'm getting it. This is your person. The action. With the judgment reverse, I get that someone feels they made a bad decision about this connection. There's a lot of self-doubt and indecisiveness. Um, and someone's failing to learn from this. This is like a karmic lesson. This connection is supposed to teach you something. It's not something that you're supposed to return to. I'm getting that this is about you, Capricorn. It's like, this is trying to teach you that this is just a lesson, um, but you're not you're failing to learn what the lesson is. So the action is to focus on what it is that you can learn from this. Don't say to yourself, why is this happening to me? Say, what can I learn from this situation? Because you feel like it's self-doubt that you're the problem. Like, you know, maybe something you did. It's not something that you did. It's just that there's some... The reason why you feel indecisive because you have this person that's not committing to the energy, to the connection. They they have this. They come and they keep showing up with this unsure energy. Okay, so that issue is this person not focusing on this connection but focusing on themselves. Okay, so um, the action is to understand that this is this is supposed to teach you something, and you need to make a decision about this because the decision that you're making to be indecisive about this person is a bad decision. Okay, the outcome is a nine of wands. Feeling drained, but finding the courage to push through, to move forward. Okay, so it's like you're just trying to push through. So the outcome is you are trying to persevere, okay? And trying to be resilient, even though you feel emotionally drained by this person. I'm gonna pull three messages, so three oracle messages. Okay. First, please show me three oracle messages for Capricorn, please. In your person, please show me three messages. Issue, action, outcome. Here we are. I said that there was a money problem, right? This from your, your person, the issues. Money worries are keeping me up at night and I am just not in a good place right now. There it is, that's the issue. The action. I'm so glad we found each other because my life has been so much better ever since. So this person 
is happy that they found you and their life has been better, but they don't feel that they can bring something to this connection. And you you have love for this person. That's why you're like, I'm not sure if I should move forward or not. Because I have to tell you, you don't wait on someone, okay? This person's unsure, then you have to just keep pushing through. And that's what I get with the Nine of Wands. That even though you feel drained by the situation, you are gonna find the courage to keep pushing through. So they're happy they found you. The outcome. Whatever this is, whatever this is leading, I want it. You are on my path for a reason, and I am so grateful for your friendship. So, you know what, again, I feel like this person cares about you, has love for you, they want to show up, but they don't feel stable enough to show up. So, my again, my advice for you is to keep pushing through and just keep, you know, you know, again, you feel wounded by this, this ongoing battle between you and this person. So, you're just trying to find the strength to be strong enough to push through, okay? But this person, they're not, what they're not telling you is, that they're grateful for what you have, you guys have, and you've made them much better. But they're not in a good place right now, okay? If it's meant to be, you guys will eventually come back together again, okay? But again, I never tell anybody to wait on anyone. Please, I, I can't trust that enough. Don't wait, keep pushing forward. Keep put yourself first, okay? You have to be your priority. I'm gonna pull three romance on cards for advice. I have Keep moving forward Because I see that somewhere in your future There's a possibility of an engagement Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment This is something that you haven't even seen yet and again, this, this this connection that you have with this person is trying to teach you something. So I cannot advise you to wait for this person. Even though they feel like this is what they want, that's just feelings that they're not willing to show you unless they take action, okay? They have to take action towards you. But the cards are not telling you to action. The, the action that I'm getting is that this is not a good decision. This is trying to teach you something. And the action is you have to pay attention to what this is trying to teach you, okay? Pay attention to the red flags, the signs of caution you, see? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from, from others. So I'm advising you to move forward, reach out to your friends, very close ones, maybe one or two super close friends or, or a relative that you speak to and confide in. However, that person can help you move forward. And again, you're moving in the direction of the, the commit, commitment that you want. So please understand that. You don't see this, but this is the direction you're moving in by moving forward for this person, okay? Um, I'm not getting like this person's a terrible person. I just get that they're not growing they're not they're not vibrating on the frequency that you are at the moment you're up here they're down here you can't wait for that so if they rise up to meet you and you happen to be available and you have free will if you want to reconnect with this person but don't sit in this energy and don't say you know don't doubt this don't sit in this indecisiveness that I'm getting from the judgment reverse okay let your friends help you focus on the red flags um, and move forward okay because you're going in the right direction for the commitment that you want. So that is all that I have for you for this flash read for August. Thank you so much, Capricorns, for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe if this reading resonates with you as this helps my new channel grow. And I wish you all healing, love, and light. And I'll see you on the next one.